Hi all, this is Olivia Jack and this is Creative Coding DIY Webcam Filters, a module about art and technology as part of Culture Hub's collab program in summer 2020. Um, this module will cover the basics of writing code using an online video synthesizer called Hydra and we will focus on using uh, using code to create filters for camera and video. That will include things like colors, uh, exploring different distortions, how to create sort of distortion effects using code, um, feedback, and sort of this liquid organic feeling. Um, also interactivity, such as using the mouse. And then we will also cover how to share what you make online. This will be a very hands-on module, so you can um, follow along, and I'll go over that in a second. But um, this, this will be very much kind of learning by doing and making things. Um, and I hope you enjoy. This is actually my first ever uh, video tutorial series, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so, to get started, um, everything that we will be doing will be in an online editor called Hydra. Um, I will include the link in this video. Um, but when you open, open up Hydra's page, um, it loads immediately kind of some colorful visuals and this uh, instruction bit of text on top of it. Um, Hydra, I, Hydra is a platform that I created um, starting about two years ago and it's sort of something I started building and uh, it just keeps growing and now more and more people start have started to use it. Um, and it all runs in the browser um, and it's inspired by a lot of concepts of, of analog video synthesis. And I'll explain more about what that means in a second. So to get started, when you open Hydra, you'll see these, these colors and this um, text. You can go ahead and, and close the, the pop-up window. Um, at the top, there's sort of a toolbar. This, this button, the third from the right, is how you can shuffle between preset sketches. So clicking here, um, it loads a different visual in the background and it loads different text overlaying the visual. And so if you haven't yet, go ahead and open up Hydra and start just sort of cycling through these sketches. These are all made by different people um, who found Hydra online and um, have created different sketches. So let's start with this sketch by Flor de Fuego. So basically the graphics that you're seeing are generated by this text that's in front of it. Um, and so each, each word of text affects the visuals that happen behind it. Um, and so to start, what we can do is start to sort of change um, is, is start to sort of change the numbers that are here. And so the easiest way to run a line of code is to click this triangle up here. So this triangle means run, run the code. And so um, I can see that, okay, I changed the number in shape and something, something about the image changed. Um, so we could try, let's see what else I could try here. We could try changing here some sort of scale. Um, let's see, what if I change one of these numbers in color? Press play. Um, and so go ahead, open any sketch 
uh, that you can find by cycling through the different sketches and go ahead and just change any number that you see. And after changing the number, go up here and press the, the um, run button. If you sort of make a mistake and don't like something, you can also go back using the browser back button. So you can go back to previous things um, or go forward. Oops, I went too far there. Um, maybe I'll try loading another sketch and seeing what kinds of things I could change. Oops, a little strong. There's also um, this dice button up here, which lets you randomly change numbers um, if you don't want to have to go through and typing different changes. And I'm going to try loading a different sketch here. Let's try this one. Um, So go ahead and um, explore a little and change change any numbers. Just kind of poke around and try try pick something you like and change change different numbers in the sketch.